In this short video, let's talk about one-to-one -one functions. So what does it mean for a function to be one-to-one? -one? A function is one-to-one -one if for no two elements in a domain of f corresponds to the same element in the range of f. So let's uh, make it pretty clear that domain means input. We're talking about input of the function. That's, for example, whatever x we're asking to plug in into the f of x. And x is just the example. And then out, uh, the range is my output. And usually this is, in, for example, f of x. So that's the result you're going to get if, for example, x is 1, and you've been asked to plug 1 into f of x. So f of 1 will be the output. In other words, we want to say that for each x in the domain, we have exactly one image in the range, and not more than that. So we want to say that also no y in the range of the image of more than one x in a domain. And uh, it's very visual from the graph, so let's just explain how it works from the graph. If the graph of the function f is known, then we're just going to use horizontal line test to identify that the function is one-to-one. -one. If no horizontal, and that's the most important part here, if no horizontal line intersects the graph of the function f, in more than one point, and it can be zero points, but not more than one, then the function is one to one. Let's see it in these examples we have here. So I will use horizontal line test, and it means I will build horizontal lines. Visually everywhere, everywhere can imagine. Of course, I can't put horizontal lines everywhere, uh, but uh, I can try to imagine them like this and that I need to think if any of those horizontal lines will intersect the graph of the function twice or basically more than once and in this case as you can see this line uh, definitely is one to one because it passes the horizontal line test for the second example uh, it only passes horizontal line test at zero at zero indeed for one input we have only one output but for all others we have two outputs uh, we have uh, the situation that for one output minus four we have for example input minus four and input four so for the same output we're going to have two inputs that's the idea same for minus six so the output is minus six but the input that gave me this output is minus 6 and 6. That means it doesn't pass horizontal line test. That's the idea. So this one does not pass horizontal line test, which means this function is not one-to-one. -one. The example number 3 is a function as well. It's just represented in, term, in forms of uh, points. It's basically a data set. Uh, here, let's try to imagine horizontal lines. This horizontal line intersect the function only at one point. Uh, for example, here, no points at all, so that's zero, which is fine. This point, only once. This point, only one point. And here, and here. Since there are no other intersections, indeed, the graph of the function passes horizontal line test, and the function is one-to-one. -one. For these three cases, let's see again. Starting here, one intersection only, one intersection, one intersection, no intersections. The moment we check this little circle, that means here the function is not defined at this uh, point. The output is somewhere else. It's defined, but the output is somewhere else. So it's zero intersections. Then again, zero intersections over here. Then one intersection, one, 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 one. Since not more than once, then indeed it's a one-to-one -one function. How about here? Yes, only one intersection. Yes, only one intersection. And then we have two intersections. So that means that for one height, zero, we have two inputs, minus three and three. So that means we don't have a unique one-to-one -one case here, where for each input we have only one output and so on. So that means it does not pass horizontal line test and the function is not one-to-one. -one. And finally, cubic functions like these our one to one as well pair they pass horizontal line test so that's an interesting idea and uh, basically 
the interesting application of this idea is uh, maybe, maybe you can see it this way let's check the second function the second function say it represents a profit of your company and uh, you were looking at the time t and say you notice that at the profit the output is the profit you notice that the profit was negative minus six say minus six thousand dollars it was negative at both two inputs one input was six months ago and then one input was six months in the future so usually we try want to avoid situations like these for the application problems when we don't have one to one correlation so for one output for one height minus six we have two inputs on the left and on the right two input gave me the same output that's how you should imagine it so that's kind of the interesting explanation and application of this idea of one-to-one -one functions hope it was helpful and i hope you will watch my new videos and get a better understanding of these topics see you next time